Hey guys, welcome back to Ants Midwest. Today's video is going to be about my Formica montana. Formica montana is a very polygynous species, meaning they have multiple queens per colony, very aggressive workers, and very fast growing colonies. My colony has 9 queens, and I would estimate about 1,000 workers, but it's honestly really hard for me to tell because they're in a natural setup. It could be much more than this, and it could be a little less, but I would say 1,000 is a pretty good estimation. This is my colony's second year, meaning they're about a year old now, and you can see how much pupa they're producing. It's really insane. They completely fill the tube coming off the one side of the nest, and they even bring pupa into the outworld of the nest. Check out all this soil they've moved out of their nest to make space for more brood and workers. It's quite a bit actually, and I cleaned it up recently too. I think it's kind of funny how all the brood in the outworld are pupa except for this one larva. Formica montana are also very fast ants as you can see that are quite sensitive to vibration and light. They'll react to both of these with uh, just bursts of running around and sometimes aggression. You can see that as soon as I took the lid off, they started rushing around to get the pupa back to the nest. By the way, this video isn't sped up at all. This is just how fast they run around when they're in their frantic mode. However, I did get some sped up footage of them clearing out this pupa. Now that this is all that's left in the outworld, let's give them some crickets. I had just set these pieces of cricket in and they immediately swarmed it. Like I said, they're pretty aggressive, so they swarm their food very quickly. They do prefer to take their food back to the nest for further consumption, but it's not really required. They do have a social stomach that they can fill and carry food back to the nest but it, it can be nice for them to be able to take the food directly to their nest where they can really make sure they get every bit of meat off of the cricket. I really like this shot because you can see this ant right here pull a piece of the cricket right off of it. It's not much, but it, it shows the strength of these ants. I also think it's pretty funny how the workers are carrying pupa around everywhere. It's like they don't want to bring it back to the nest because they want to keep them heated, but they want to get them back to the nest because they think it's unsafe and they just don't know what to do. But you can see that pupa pile there has dwindled down quite a bit. So as I said, they like to be able to take their food back to the nest, and that's why I give them some smaller pieces that are easy for them to get back to the nest and some bigger pieces which have a good amount of meat but might be a little bit harder for them to get back to the nest. As you can see, there are no pupa left in the outworld. They've completely cleared it out and brought them all back to the nest. You can also see the cricket isn't there either. They've pulled it into the tube. Let's go ahead and look with the macro lens. So at this point it doesn't look like there's a ton of progress of them clearing meat out of the crickets, but they were at about this stage for the next hour and a half uh, with the cricket here in the tube, but by morning the cricket was gone so they had gotten it into their nest, which is great. I guess to summarize, my Formica Montana are doing great. Well guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and check out some of my other videos. Hope you enjoyed. See ya.
Here's actually a little bonus for those who stuck around to the end. Uh, you can see how beautiful the queens of this species can be. I'm not sure if any of my queens in my colony are like this, but this is one that I found recently, and they can be absolutely gorgeous. Alright, that's the end. Bye.